In this tutorial we will discuss polarogram and informations obtained from the polarogram. Polarogram is a graph of current versus potential in a polarographic analysis. When the liquid mercury is used as the working electrode, then such voltimetry is termed as polarography. The polarography is an example of voltimetry at controlled potential in which the working electrode consists of a dropping mercury electrode and potential of working electrode is changed in a linear mode. As we all know, polarogram also helps to gives the information about the different current produced in the electrochemical system. Let's discuss them in briefly with the help of polarogram. Residual current. Even in the absence of analyte, small current flows through an electrochemical cell, this current is called as residual current. In absence of applied potential, due to electrical double layer, small potential is already developed. Hence, the concentration of oxidant at the electrode surface is not same to that at the bulk. This leads to certain current which is residual current IR. The current in the current potential plot is given as, current I is equal to NFAD times bulk concentration minus concentration at the electrode surface by density of mercury. Here, N is the number of electrons involved in the reaction. F is Faradaic constant, and A is the area of the electrode, and D is the diffusion coefficient in centimeter square per second, delta is the density of mercury in gram per centimeter cube, CO is the concentration at the bulk in millimole per liter, and COS is the concentration at the electrode surface in millimole per liter. By using the mention formula we can calculate current produced during the electrochemical process. The sources of residual current are discharge of impurities present in solution and charging current or non-faradaic current. It increases linearly with applied potential. The residual current consists of two components. They are a faradaic current, which is produced due to the oxidation and reduction of trace impurities, and a charging current or non-faradaic current, which is the current, needed to charge or discharge the capacitor formed by the electrode surface solution interface. And this current is also known as condensation current or charging current. And it is present in all voltammetric and polarographic experiments, regardless of the purity of reagents. Limiting current. The constant current beyond the steep rise is called limiting current. We have current I is equal to NFAD times bulk concentration minus concentration at the electrode surface by the density of mercury. When, as soon as the oxidant O reach to the electrode surface, it gets reduced to reductant R, then concentration of oxidant at the electrode surface is zero. That is the concentration at the electrode surface is equal to zero. Then limiting current IL is equal to NFAD times bulk concentration by density of mercury. This gives constant current which is independent to the applied potential, called limiting current. It is limiting by the rate which the reactant can be brought to the surface of electrode by mass transport process. Diffusion current. The difference between limiting current and residual current leads to the limiting current in polarography where magnitude of current is limited only by the rate of diffusion of the reductant at the electrode surface. This is called as diffusion current ID. And for negligible value of residual current IR, the diffusion current ID can be taken equal to the limiting current IL. And the rate of diffusion at a fixed temperature will depend on the degree of concentration gradient, diffusion property of species, and nature of medium. The diffusion current is proportional to concentration of active species. That is diffusion current ID is equal to K times the concentration of analyte. When diffusion current versus concentration is plotted, a straight line passing through origin is obtained. This is obtained for particular range of concentration. Deviation occurs at very high concentration due to complexation, polymerization, or condensation reaction. At very low concentration, uncertainty arises due to relatively large magnitude of the residual current. Half wave potentially half. Half-wave potential is the middle point of voltage of sharp rise. That is corresponding voltage of half of the diffusion current. Thus, 
the potential at which the Faradaic current is one half of the diffusion current or potential corresponding to the midpoint of diffusion current wave is called half wave potential. It is also defined as the potential at which Faradaic current is one half of the diffusion current ID is called half wave potential, E half. It is characteristic of the particular redox system and is independent of the concentration of the electroactive species in solution.